Hello, my fellow brothers and sisters in the Lord Jesus Christ. Apologies for the lighting. It's night out, and I only have my bike's light that I probably won't be able to get on. So that's nice. But uh, I'm using some of my gear right now to look up and to spend a few hours out here. Uh, because I know those who watch my channel are also into prepping, so I'll show you. So what I'm using, I'm using my, if I can, oh, there we go. I'm using my French F1, basically waterproof, what I like to call my Fallout backpack, just because it's all rubberized. Using my East German bread bag and my camel pon uh, poncho, part of my bag that I haven't opened yet because it was raining earlier, and my bedroll that I'm currently sitting on. Anyways, enough side, tra side tracking. Um... I'm sorry that I haven't been uploading as of late. <sighs> Lately, I've been going through a lot mentally. And it's because of that <sighs> that I've been doing a lot of things. A lot of thinking. About life. About our Lord and Savior. About our Father, Yahweh. Elohim. I've been doing a lot of thinking more and more, and the ponderance on Scripture is quite heavy. It's it's even more so when uh, when the world is literally going to hell. Uh, we all know what's happening over there, so I don't really need to speak about about it too much. Um, However, one thing that I will comment on is this is only the beginning, folks. So many people have watched my videos, watched other people's videos. I won't name names because I, you know, I don't have to. And they say, well, it's fear porn. We're fear-mongering. We're propagating fear because that is what... Um, makes our channels successful and to grow. At least that's not why I do it. I do it because what I say, I truly believe. And my brothers and sisters, the time is short. Huh, that's perfect actually. The time is short. Time is running out. Look at your watches. Look at the time um, read God's word. Lately, I have not been reading God's word. But, but I have, again, dare I say, the old me that preached God's word, that led people to Christ, that's still within me. That is still me. But the spirit of the spirit of Elijah is within me. The sheer will of wanting to preach God's word anywhere in the world, even in China, including in Saudi Arabia, which is part of, just by the way, preaching Christ in Saudi Arabia is punishable by death. Um, yeah. Um, Oh no! Wait. Unless if I'm thinking of of Turkey, a lot of the Middle Eastern countries kill Christians, and that's only going to get worse. My fellow brothers and sisters, he who hath an ear, let him hear to what the Spirit saith unto the churches. He who hath eyes to see, let him see. God's word showed us the signs of the end. The, that's starting now. The one world currency system that we've been talking about for decades and for thousands of years. Yeah, well, now it's starting to roll out. I'm not sure if you saw the, the recent, uh, I believe it was the G7 summit. Yeah. Uh, it was either, either that or 
the World Economic Forum. They were talking about digitizing currency in, into creating a new world order. I kid you not, and this is all public form. This is all public knowledge, just like the Great Reset. Which, by the way, YouTube will drop a thing down below explaining what the Great Reset is by dodging all the shady aspects of it. You, you will own nothing and you will be happy. The time for in which we're in is so important. The apostles, the people that followed Christ, that knew Christ, all wanted to see this day. Would you like to know why? Because it marks the return of our Lord and Savior Christ Jesus. That is why. That is why. It, we look above. What do we see? We see the stars. Or the illuminaries. Whatever you want to call them. We see the moon. We see what they call planets. We see the magnificence of God's handiwork. Psalms 19 verse 1. The firmament sheweth God's handiwork. I'm at a reservoir right now. Let me make this on the max brightness so you can see this. I am at I am at a reservoir right now. And um it's a beautiful view. However, imagine what a view like this would look like in heaven. Don't miss out. And I'm being serious. Don't don't mess out. Because time is truly of the essence. Time Time is now a precious commodity. And it always has been, really. Hasn't it? We have neglected it. We have chose to say, oh there's still much to happen. Christ still hasn't came back yet. My people, my people, my brothers and sisters, let me tell you something right now. Christ has not delayed his coming. Christ is on his way. Look in the road right now. I know many people won't even watch this entire video because they have the attention span of a gnat. And that's not being insultive. That's just the truth. That's why the, the modern generation won't even sit through a sermon. That's why the modern generation is is, is, is is so brainwashed with with Marxist ideas and a materialistic worldview. They want to hear what they want to hear so they can live their life. Rather than paying attention to the truth itself in which is Christ. Christ is not some was not some z Jew that of my say Messiah complex. Christ is and was who he claimed to be. The crap that's going on right now. Now there's many interpretations. Like there's this YouTuber um, that goes by the name Jacob Israel. Now I like his content, but I, I sometimes it seems like he thinks he's a prophet. I'm not saying that that's actually what he thinks. Just that's sometimes how he acts or. The behavior that he um, shows off sometimes. And it's most likely accidental. Um, accidentally, uh, rather. While we're looking for the Antichrist, the Antichrist is the hallmarker, really, of this New World Order. If he does not rise, this will not work. They want to put a man up and worship him as God. The three churches, the, well, the three abominable churches that they have set up, I believe, in Saudi Arabia. Um, all three are part of the Abrahamic religions, Judaism, Islam, and Christianity, all of which we, we can worship side by side without conflict. That is what they're pushing. 
This peace in unity and security and prosperity is a lie. It sounds lovely. In Out of all people, I wish it was true, but it's not. It's a deception. It's to wrap you in the deception so deep that the only way out of it is if you see Christ, if you seek him with all your heart, mind, body, and soul. This world is going to hell. And I don't want you to be a part of that. Rather, I want you to be a part of the kingdom of Yahweh, the kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, praising his name. We mustn't neglect the time. We mustn't sit and be lazy and just make videos on YouTube and talk and talk while you're sitting at home doing absolutely nothing. You're not improving the relationship with with Christ within your own life. Rather, you're sitting home talking the talk and not walking the walk. Faith without works is dead. I'm... Um, I'm currently applying for a passport for this um, company called Go. Well, yeah, this company called Go Corps. They have many different types of people that, that they send around the world. But one of the categories is ministry, so I picked it. And I'm aware that I won't be able to come back into the country unless I have the vaccine. And that's since I'm not going to get the vaccine. I've already accepted that. Why would I put myself in that type of situation, you might ask? I'll tell you why. Because I feel a calling. I feel a, I feel a calling, my brothers and sisters. I truly do. I feel a calling. To preach... God's word amongst the nations. It, no matter the cost, that is what us Christians should be doing, but we're not. We're not. Now, are, are we? When you die, when you stand before Christ, when he asks you, what have you done with the knowledge that you have? You know? I mean, you know Christ, right? Yet you don't tell anyone about it? That's a major disservice, not just to Christ, but to humanity itself. Humanity is destroying each other. And I like to set this re this record straight. And I fell victim of this too, uh, up until the Spirit of God came over me and showed me something. They're not going to be using thermonuclear warheads on a massive scale. One or two might be launched, but they're not going to cause a nuclear war. Want to know why? They don't want to destroy this. They don't want to destroy this. You want to know why they don't want to destroy it? Because they want to use it. They want to use it. Why would you destroy land for which has use that you need? That's foolish. They're not going to destroy it. Agenda 2050. By, the, by that year, if God has allowed all this stuff to continue... All of us, well, not me, because I will die for Christ. Those who still remain will be pushed into these mega cities. These mega, te these mega technological cities for in which will surveil you 24-7, a digitized currency with a social credit score. And at the head of that will be the Antichrist. And this is why... Agenda 2050. That's a that's Agenda 2030. Do you? I heard this YouTuber, uh, Show Five Ministries, I believe, and he said that the UN wants a new world order by the year 2023. Now, if what he stated is true, then that makes sense. Now, doesn't it? Stirring the pot. Shall we say, just stirring and stirring and stirring and stirring the pot so much so that it will cause so much calamity in the, in, in the world. Uh, if you 
if you read the Third World War of Albert Pike, you will know exactly the type of people that that will come out of the woodworks, like the atheists, the nihilists. Just the other day, on Discord, which is this platform that you can talk to people on with um, on different servers, well, well, we started to talk about many theories. Then he got on to the Holocaust, and because of YouTube, I can't really say exactly what we spoke about. But long story short, uh, this guy is an atheist and a complete nihilist who's a psychopath. This dude wants to make every Jew squeal. This dude wants to kill people. This this individual was demonically possessed. Uh, this individual was speaking, and his voice completely changed. His voice completely changed. And it was a sadistic voice that that loved to see humanity in pain. That type of people I am talking about. Those people will come out come out of the woodworks. We mustn't take part in nihilism or atheism or agnosticism or Shaolinism or Buddhism or Hinduism or Islam. But rather, embrace Christ in his beautiful creation. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We must be that, um, that, that lady at the well. That Christ spoke to. Let us partake. In his water. The water for in which he offers. Is the water for in which he offers. Springs up into eternal life. And we shall never thirst again. John 4 verse 14. Follow him. And you will have eternal life. This calamity will get much, much worse. My brothers and sisters. The US will get involved. And Ana will get involved purposely. Everything that you're seeing here is is an orchestrated and a final attempt, a, rather a final assault against our common man, but most importantly against God. These people have demonic entities working for them. This, ca this calamity, this suffering, evilness that's spreading, people are getting more and more possessed. People are starting to do more and more harm unto the fellow man and woman and child. The Ruskis are executing men, women, and children, just like what Hitler was doing in the Second World War. That is not of Christ, but of the devil. Those are the events in which they're using to trigger people. Do not partake in this world, but rather partake in in the Holy Ghost, in the Holy Spirit. Partake in Christ and fellowship. Go to church. Evangelize more. Even if you, you suck at socializing with people, you need to go out. You, you, you need to find an outlet to tell people about Christ because the time for in which we're in is the most important time in, in humanity. I got done watching the Netflix series called Messiah, and it was the most demonic and antichrist symbolic show I have ever seen. And it was literally the Antichrist. But the uh, Muslim version of the uh, of the Messiah, or the Antichrist is called the Dajjal. It's funny, because the Antichrist, the Dajjal, is Jesus Christ. So the Antichrist is Jesus Christ, because Jesus Christ comes back on a white horse. Not the pale horse, but the white horse. With a sword from which is the word of God. The Antichrist also comes on a white horse. It's not pale, white. See the connection? Everything that's going on right now is a part of God's plan. Be ye not fearful, but partake in godly fruits. Bear fruits and indulge within God's word. 
communicate amongst one another, meditate on the word, get in fellowship. These, these last days are only the beginning. It's going to get much, 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 much worse. And I'm sorry for this lengthy video, but you you need to hear this. You're, you're most likely hearing it from all these other channels, but you're not really thinking about it on a serious manner. Let me show you something. This strain of grass, it's real, is it not? I'm holding it, and you're seeing it. This is real, is it not? Well, Christ is more real than all of these. Christ is more real than the very ground from which you sit on. Christ is more real than the very food and the water that you put in your body. Christ is more real than the very people from which you communicate with. Christ is alive. He is real. He is tangible. Call upon the name of the Lord and you shall be saved. God wanted me to meet that demonic man to wake me up more so where I can have that fire that I once had within me. And oh man, I have it. I want to, I want to be in Beijing, in, um, in Dubai, in um, Turkey, in Sudan, in Iran, in Afghanistan. I don't care where it's at. I want to tell people about Jesus Christ, irrelevant if I am put to death or I'm not, or I, or I'm not put to death. I have seen things. I have heard the voice of Yahweh. I have heard a demon. I know my belief is not in vain. I know Christ is alive. From the very truth in which we're seeing is unfolding before our very eyes. How does a 2,000 year old book predict that unless if it's true and so many conspiracy nutbags will argue that the bible was written by these people as the plan to delude the christians so when the aliens come when all the luciferian plot is totally out in the public view and Jesus still hasn't came back yet 10 years after we're still suffering but in a new uh, in a new government there will be no Christians left because the Bible was written by these people that is such foolishness this there's archaeological and historical evidence that that Christ that Jesus is the crystals the anointed one sent by God he is the Christ the true Christ Christ is Lord. He truly is. I hope all of you understand this. Because so many people claim that they do. But they don't act like it. This is a... <laughs> this is not a game. This is... This is real. And this is why I'm making this video, because it is terrifying. It terrifies me. This is the very truth in which we have sought at for so long. The scoffers will continue to scoff. The mockers will continue to mock. The murderers will continue to murder, and vice versa. But us Christians need to partake In union, we need to come together, preach the word, and lead people to the true Messiah. That his people re rejected him for. But when that time comes, a lot of Jews will, will come to the senses and realize, wow, our Messiah was here and, and we killed him. And a lot of Jews will start following Yahshua, 
Jesus Christ. But that time has not yet come. But let us tell them about Christ even more so. It doesn't matter if they know about it or not. You might know about something, but you need to hear it again. Rehear it, rather. Don't be that person that sits back and watch the road go to hell and you in your sitting back doing absolutely nothing because you're a coward. Those who believe in Christ are not cowards, but according to his word are as bold as a lion. Lion. I don't care if I sit in, in in front of a drug deal filled with a bunch of gangbangers that are about to put a cap in my head. I will tell them about Christ. You want to know why? Because that's how important Christ is. Christ was and is who he claims to be, and I can't, I can't say this enough. It might sound repetitive, but it's an important type of repetitiveness because it's true. It's true. The very water for in which I'm staring at, the very reservoir, is nothing compared to him. He made everything uh, that's of natural land mass, natural land formations. Everything he has created, and we are in the palm of his hand. I'm going to cut the video now because probably most people have e haven't even watched through all of this, but this is a very important video, and I hope all of you can recognize this and share this. Please share this video as much as you can, because I'm telling you right now, the crap is, is about to hit the crap, as what the Canadian prepper um, says, the, sh the shizzy is about to hit the fizzy, but the but the shizzy that's about to hit the fizzy that he sees is only materialistic in nature, but not spiritual. So the shizzy that's about to hit the fizzy isn't just physical, it's spiritual. So many people will start persecuting Christians. So many people will start fighting amongst one another. Go and preach the gospel to every creature. See you guys on the next one, and may our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And, and, and unto the ends of the earth. In the new world order has already failed.